Yes, yes. Welcome to Absolute Dins. This is my first ever video for you. Today we will be making a scotch bonnet and mango hot sauce. First and foremost, we need to get the vegetables ready. There's not a lot going in. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Let's crack on with the vegetables. Okay, so firstly, you need to take the heads off of the scotch bonnets. Just these little bits here. And the same with these red chilies. You just want to quarter some red onions. Don't worry about taking the skin off for now. And some shallots too. Next, take a clove of garlic. Just smash it up, remove the cloves, and the second one too. Just a little side note, uh, this is the first time doing this and I'm pretty fucking naff at it. Um, so I secretly put the chilies into a cast iron pan. Um, so yeah, the next shot you'll see is they're already in the pan, as if by magic. I'll get better. There's actually no oil in this pan, it's just a pre-seasoned cast iron. If you are using just a normal frying pan, then feel free to put a bit of oil in, not too much. When they are slightly blackened, like that, you can take them off for the heat, and then add the onions and garlic. What this does, is it just adds a smokiness to the dish. As you can see, the shallots are starting to caramelize. Same with the red onion. Lovely stuff. Now you can take your onions and garlic out into a bowl, just to cool down a bit, before you can peel them and give them a quick chop. While your onions and garlic's cooling, just peel and slice some carrots. Just like that, it's all perfect. In a large saucepan or stock pot, just add a little bit of oil to the bottom of the pan. Then add your carrots. We're adding these now because the onions are softened a little already, so we want to start these off. Add your onions and garlic. Uh, Trying to put paper in. Onion and garlic, roughly chopped and peeled. Give it all a stir up. Sorry if that was loud on the microphone. Give it all a stir up. And then you want to add your chilies back. Give that a stir. Now you want to add just a little bit of water, just so you can Kind of like simmer the vegetables a bit. Heat up. Probably want to get a window open right now. And you want to let this simmer away for about half hour. See you then. Just a swift notice, uh, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after dealing with chilies. You do not want to be touching your ghoulies or lady ghoulies at any point after touching scotch bonnets. Some learn out the hard way. See you in a bit. Put someone's at the door. A uh, quick explanation to what we've put in and why. Um, obviously the chilies are, <coughs> fucking hell. Um, the chilies are there for heat and for flavor, obviously. The onions are there for, to make it oniony. Garlic, to make it garlicky. Um, and the carrots to add body and sweetness, really. Um, I don't really know much of the technical stuff of this because I just taught myself and watch stuff on the YouTubes and the TVs. But hot sauce is my thing. It's one of the first ever things I learned to cook. Um, and this is an adaptation of that recipe. So shout out to Jack Outrid, our old hot sauce company. Um, yeah, so we're about 25 minutes in now. Um, it's gonna need a little while longer. <coughs> Fuck it. <you. coughs> um, I've added uh, extra water just to uh, help along the way. But it is a dangerous game, this. Sauce at your own peril. 
a few moments later. Okay, it's been about half an hour, it's about 35 minutes now, um, and now we're going to add uh, the mango, uh, the lime and salt and vinegar, and then we're gonna see how long that takes, probably another 10, 15 of blipping away, and then we're gonna blend it. So let's head over there. All right, as you can see, it has reduced slightly. Uh, the vegetables have um, become softened. Um, and now to add the other bits and pieces. All right, guys, a little disclaimer. Uh, I couldn't find fresh mango. So I managed to get this mango pulp stuff, which is gonna go in. Uh, the mango stuff goes in and you want roughly half of that of white distilled vinegar so I poured the vinegar into there actually and threw it over myself that can go in as well give that a little stir up and then I'm gonna whack the juice of four limes in add tablespoon of so brown sugar just to ah, fuck, just to complement that heat with a bit of sweet and also about a tablespoon of salt too now we're going to turn the heat up on that and then let that go for another 10 to 15 mins okay now it's been about another 10 minutes uh, all the vegetables have softened down uh, my eyes have stopped watering <coughs> oh, I haven't stopped coughing <coughs> don't put your head over it um, now it's time to uh, give it a blend you can put it into a food processor but I've got my aggressive kitchen dildo so I'm gonna use that so it's fully blended now it's kind of the consistency I want um, it will tighten up as it cools down but I'm gonna give it a try and see if it needs any more salt or anything else. Um, you can pass it for a sieve if you want to take out all the big bits, but I've blended it for like three and a half minutes. So I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna move the camera, give it a try, let you know what I think. Uh, if it doesn't need any more salt or, or acid, I will give it another shout. But yeah, that's it pretty much done for the moment. Right, so let's give it a try. Um, just a little spoonful maybe. As I said, it will tighten up. Um, there we go. Let's clean up a bit. It will tighten up as it cools down because it's a little bit watery at the moment. But let's see how we get on. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, it is spicy. <coughs> but with the uh, sweetness out of the sugar and the carrot and the um, and the caramelization of the onions yeah it's actually really nice um, I'm really happy with that so I'm gonna let it cool down sterilize some jars and I'm gonna jar it up and then we'll see how we get on I'll see you in a bit okay so we have sterilized some jars the sauce is ready to go um, the jars are gonna be hot so I may squeal Oh yeah, so they are hot. Um, and then we're just gonna ladle in some of our sauce. Honestly, um, so I reckon I've probably butchered most of this, but how satisfying is this funnel pull that uh, comes up in a sec. The rest of it's been pretty shit, but... And there we have a hot sauce, ready to be lidded up and ready to go. So, that's it, done. Um, first video under wraps. Um, thank you for spending the time to watch it and um, learn a little bit about hot sauce. 
Um, yeah, thank you for joining me today. My name's Billy. Um, the channel is called Absolute Dins. Um, and hopefully we start making some more videos. Um, like it if you care. Uh, subscribe if you also care. Um, yeah, anyway, have a great time. I might have a outro now, so we'll see. I don't actually have an outro sorted just yet. Um, so you just get me saying goodbye. Um, next video will be using the last pot of this just to make some spicy wings to show you what you can do with the sauce. Um, yeah, but thanks for tuning in. That's your lot. Get out of it. Absolutely. Absolutely.